Our WinForm scheduler allows you to add high-performance scheduling systems into your applications. In this video, we'll go over the basics of our WinForm scheduling control. Start by creating a new WinForms project using our template gallery. Select Ribbon-Based Application, name your project, and click Create Project. Click on the Instant Layout Assistant, and then add Control. Here I'll select the Scheduler Control, remove the areas on the left and the bottom, and create a Dock Panel on the right. Click Apply to make the changes. Drop the Date Navigator on the right panel. and then resize the form. Click the Scheduler Smart Tag and select Create All Bars. Then remove the default tab. Now we need to create the database. Open the Server Explorer. Right-click Data Connection Item and select Add Connection. Change the data source to the Microsoft SQL database file. Name it Scheduler Test and click OK. Click Yes to create the new database file. Switch to the Server Explorer, right click the new database, and choose New Query. Select the Scheduler Control and click its Smart Tag to open the Scheduler Control Tasks menu. Next, click the Create Sample Database link to see the SQL script and copy it to the clipboard. Now, paste the script here and click Execute. This query creates appointment and resource tables in the Scheduler Test database. From the Smart Tag, click the Appointment Data Source dropdown and choose Add Project Data Source. Select the database type and click Next. We'll use a dataset database model and click Next. Next, choose the scheduler test data connection and click Yes to copy the local data file to the project and modify the connection. Click Next and select the Appointments and Resources tables. Click Finish and go back to the Smart Tag. Select the Appointment table in the Appointment Data Source drop-down list. This brings up the Setup Appointment Storage window. Click the Generate button and all mappings are generated automatically. Now select the Resource table. And click the Generate button. Set Parent ID value to None. It's required for the Gantt view only. And click Finish. The code to load data from the database is generated automatically. We'll need to save the changes in the database, so let's handle the appointments changed, inserted, and deleted events in code. Select the Scheduler Storage component. In the Properties window, double-click the Appointments Changed event. Type in the code to save changes in the data source. Add the same method as the event handler for the appointments deleted and appointments inserted events. Open the Solution Explorer window and set the copy to output directory property of the database to copy if newer. And let's run the application. I'll create a new appointment to make sure that all changes are saved in the database.
And if I rerun the app now, you'll see the changes are saved. Let's look at the different views now. Select a time interval and right click to create the recurring appointment. Choose the frequency in which the appointment recurs. Now drag the appointment and notice that the current series was broken. If you want to delete the appointment, right click it and select delete. You can either delete all the recurring appointments or just one. To add the reminder to the appointment, open the appointment dialog and select the new reminder time. When the reminder window opens, you can snooze it or dismiss it. Sometimes you may have to store additional information in an appointment. We'll use custom fields to help us. The appointment form should be modified to display and edit additional information. Click Create Custom Appointment Form Item and select the Outlook Style. Next, let's open the custom appointment form in design mode. Drag and drop a memo edit control from the toolbox. Rename it to Memo Contacts. Then drag and drop a label control to the form. Now add a mapping for the custom field which will contain contact information. From the Smart Tag, choose the Mapping Wizard and click Next in the Setup Appointment Storage window. Double click the Custom field in the left pane, rename it to Contacts, and click Finish. Declare a private string contacts variable. And edit the load form data method to obtain and display data from the contacts field. Now let's edit the save form data method to store the editor's value to the contacts field. Edit the isAppointmentChange method to indicate that an appointment is changed when its custom field changes. And let's run the application again. If you open the appointment created before, you'll see that the form contains the contact field we just added. Now we can edit the appointment and add the contact information. And that's it for this video. To learn more about our scheduler control, make sure to check out the documentation on our website, or watch any of our other videos from our playlist. And subscribe to our channel to watch all our latest content. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.